What's up, y'all? It's your favorite Southern Belle, Susie Homemaker. And today we are at another festival. It's festival time again. Um, we are at the Panacea Oyster Festival and we are going to try some oysters and everything like that. So we'll have some fun today. There's a beer garden. It's a whole bunch going on today. And for our choice of herb today, we had some distillate on a Nella wafer. That's it, it was simple. And we are about to get into the festival. Are you excited? I am. And there's like a whole bunch of Jeeps around and stuff. So like, kind of cool. Yeah. yeah, so I'm excited. Let's go. Like my first Jeep event. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jeep obsession. And then, you join the Jeep cult. Okay. <laughs> Shut up. And then the oyster festival on top of that. So yeah, I'm excited to eat some oysters. Get it. All right, so we got some oysters that I believe might come from Apalachicola. And we got them from the Outlaw stand with some Outlaw sauce right here. And we're just gonna try them like this for now. I'm ready for some traditional condiments though. I'm going first. Do you want me to make you one? No. This one's a little salty, but the salt is sweet. I'm like, not barbecue, but almost like barbecue. So it's like good. The combination of the salt and the sweet together, that was good. Let me give it out of five. This one, because I know I'm going to probably try better for now, a three. And now a three. So yeah, okay, outlaw. Okay, this mic is getting hot. <laughs> I have another six count of oysters. <laughs> okay, and they come from Pirate's Treasure. I think that's what it was called. And there was this little cute girl back here. She was just so adorable. But anyway, I don't know where these are from either, but we got some condiments. We got, this is horseradish and cocktail sauce mixed together. I don't know what it's called, so that's why I'm slick like that. And this is a lemon. So we're just gonna squeeze it. Oh, I'm getting lemon juice everywhere. In my back store. You want it? What? Oh. Oh, that. <laughs> How you feel about them? Those are good. How they taste? These are sweet. Sweet? And with the lemon juice? Tangy? What'd you give them? Four. Four out of five? Oh, these are running in here. Where are these from again? Pirate's Treasure? Pirate's Treasure. Okay. All right. Y'all did y'all thing. Y'all did y'all thing. Excuse me. Okay, so these are some grilled oysters from Simper Salty. Um, they have bacon and cheese and like garlic butter or a parsley butter or something. So I'm gonna try it. Wow, I'm excited to try them. I've never had, well, no, that's why we have had cooked, cooked oysters before, Jesus. Um, but we didn't like them, so I'm excited to try them. Let's see. 
got some cheese. They were grilled. Cheese and bacon and butter. So let's see. Those aren't bad. These are salty. And so with the butter and the cheese and the salt, I don't know, I, need, I feel like I need something to cool it down, almost like a baked potato for me. Like, I need some type of sauce to calm all that down. But other than that, I give them, they're not as good as raw. So, 2.5. I would get them again, but I don't have to have them all the time. So yeah, but raw is better. We do have some of their raw oysters as well. Let's trade out. They ran out of lemon, so we have some more cocktail sauce with horseradish and some crackers. And this is just a regular raw oyster. I'm gonna put a cracker with it this time. Um, the cocktail sauce is really good. So this oyster is still salty and everything. And the cracker just added some crunch. It's still really salty, but the, mm, I give it a, a two. Yeah. Less than the Rockefeller? Yeah, a little bit. Less than the Rockefeller. Rockefeller. All right, so we have some more oysters, raw, raw, I cannot talk right now. Raw, and they're from Boondocks. That's what it's, so they're from Boondocks. Uh, oyster company, so yeah. And they have like this vinegar right here on the plate. This is a vinegar based sauce, and then this is a hot sauce, she said. So yeah, they don't have spoons, so I'm just gonna, let's try it. We're gonna try the vinegar sauce first. It's giving me seafood and vinegar, kind of like fish and vinegar. That's what it's kind of giving me. That's the hot sauce. It's spicy, but it doesn't really have much flavor. The raw, it's just the raw oyster. And this one is like pretty neutral. It's not too salty. I don't need the oyster itself. And so I rate, I like the vinegar better than the hot sauce. That's the first thing. And then I rate these oysters overall, out of all the ones you tried so far. I give them that. I mean, like, I like the natural flavor of the oyster itself because oysters are tasty, but it doesn't lend to the sweet, the sweet side or the salty side or a combination. It's like a very neutral tasting oyster, kind of like neutral tasting fish, like tilapia. Like, so yeah, that's what this tastes like right now. All right, so this time, everybody's running out, so we had to like go and get them. So we got a full 12 dozen raw oysters, and this one is from Fiddler, Fiddler, blah, Fiddler's Point Oyster, <laughs> Fiddler's Point Oyster Company. <laughs> okay, and we just got some cocktail sauce straight up. So we're just gonna see what these taste like. Hopefully these ones are a little bit more sweet than usual. Oh, they're all farm raised? Uh, oh, okay, okay. So these are good though. These are 
These are hitting. Where did they take place? <laughs> I have what you described to me in my head right now. I'm not going to say that. Okay? But these are like delicious. These are the best ones probably out here. Oh, and what do you give them? These are like five. These are a little salty, a little sweet, and then mixed with the cocktail sauce. These are good. And they're nice and big and juicy. They're not like skimpy. They are Uh huh. Three, two, one. Let's go. All right, you guys. Today we did the Oyster Festival in Panacea. You saw us try a whole bunch of different oysters from all over Florida, and they're mostly farm raised in different restaurants and stuff. And the best one today was, what do you think? Uh, oh, Fiddler's Point. Fiddler's Point was the best one for a baby. I love Fiddler's Point as well. It's like my top two out of Outlaw. We got two dozen. We got two dozen from Fiddler's Point because they were super, super good. But I still also like Outlaw though, so I'm kind of torn. And if I had to go with something I think Fiddler's Point, because they were the most plain and organic ones we had. Outlaw had the sauce on it that gave that extra boost. So yeah, Fiddler's Point is like top. And so they get a five for today. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the content. I hope you have fun. Hope you come back for more. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.